Hey guys, I'm Nisha Homi. Today I'm sharing a healthy, nutrient dense, and filling ragi soup recipe ideal for dinner in your weight loss journey. So let's get started with the recipe. I'm heating my clay pan with 1 to 2 teaspoons of wood pressed coconut oil. Instead of wood pressed coconut oil, you can use wood pressed sesame oil or even wood pressed groundnut oil. Remember that healthy cooking is all about using the right quality of oils. So try to use wood pressed oils in your diet. I'm giving the pan a swirl so that the oil is nicely coated all over the pan. Once the oil is heated, I'm adding in half teaspoon jeera, also known as cumin seeds. Reduce the flame to the lowest, add in half inch ginger finely chopped, a handful or five to six shallots finely sliced. I prefer to use shallots in my recipes as they are a good source of iron, folate and antioxidants. However, if you don't have shallots at hand, you can use one fourth of an onion instead. Give it a stir and allow the shallots to turn transparent or light pink in color. I'm adding in a handful or about seven to eight beans thinly sliced. One medium sized carrot chopped, one green chili finely sliced, one teaspoon pink Himalayan salt or as needed. Give it a good stir and allow the vegetables to lightly roast on low flame for about a minute. Into this I'm adding in 1 fourth cup sprouted ragi rava. Ragi rava or ragi suji is made from whole ragi also known as finger millet. For those who are new to ragi rava this is how it looks. So into this I'm adding in 1 fourth cup of sprouted ragi rava. Give it a stir and allow the ragi rava to lightly roast for about 2 to 3 minutes. Remember the flame is on the lowest. Ragi also known as finger millet is a whole grain and it is completely gluten free. The reason why I am using sprouted ragi rava is that once ragi is sprouted the vitamin C level tends to increase and leads to easy absorption of iron into the bloodstream. Sprouted ragi also helps in better digestion and in better nutrient absorption. Once it is lightly roasted, I'm adding in two cups of hot water and bring this to a boil. And once it starts to boil, give it a good stir, cover and let it cook on low flame for about five to seven minutes. Remember to stir it on and off so that you can make sure that the ragi rava does not stick to the bottom of the pan. Seven minutes later, open the lid. Now the ragi rava is nicely cooked. This is the consistency I prefer for the soup to be. If you would like the consistency to be slightly thinner, you can add in an extra one fourth cup of water. If you would like thicker consistency, you can reduce the water by one fourth cup. So it's just a matter of personal preference. This is how I like my soup to be. Next I'm adding in one fourth of a capsicum chopped. I personally like to add capsicum towards the end of the cooking so that uh, the color and a subtle crunch can be retained. Finely chopped coriander leaves. Turn off the flame. Squeeze in half a lemon, half teaspoon freshly ground black pepper powder or as needed and give it a good stir. I like to rest the soup for about a minute and then serve. About a minute later, open the lid. My healthy ragi soup is ready to serve. So guys, you try this healthy ragi soup and let me know in the comments how it turned out. Thank you for watching and until next time, take care. Bye-bye.